Hey, what's good? I'm professional shooting coach Colin Castello with Shot Mechanics Basketball. And today, I'm going to give you the pro tips to help you bust any shooting slump. All right, now shooting slumps absolutely suck. And a lot of players can't figure out why they get into them. And then a lot of times they can't figure out how to get out of them. So today what I want to do is walk you through a few different ways that are super simple to break your shooting slump. And that way you can get making more shots in actual games. But before we jump into it, this video is brought to you by my guys over at the M1 Smart Coach. Max One is absolutely changing the game with their Smart Coach AI shooting app. This is an app that's actually going to watch you shoot, analyze your jumper, and give you perfectly personalized feedback. Now, this is really the future of personalized shooting instruction, and one of the reasons why I decided to partner with Max One on this project. So now, instead of helping just one athlete at a time, I can help thousands and thousands of athletes all over the world using artificial intelligence and the latest cutting-edge technology. And when I say this technology is insane, I mean it's insane. I've been playing around with it for the last couple weeks, and I'm absolutely in love. So click the top link in the description down below or the first pinned comment to save your spot inside the wait list when we launch here very shortly. And every single athlete's going to get a free analysis if they do so. And to go one step further and make it better, anybody who signs up for the wait list is going to get instant access to my Tryout Academy series that I produced with Max One. It's an academy that I put together to help you get ready to slay tryouts. From tips and tricks to ways to impress the coach, it's something that you're not going to want to miss because the information is crazy valuable. All right, so go ahead and click the top link in the description down below or the link in the top pinned comment and go ahead and join the M1 Smart Coach waiting list. We're getting ready to launch it very soon and I want you to get your free shot assessment as soon as it goes live. So go ahead, sign up now and you're going to get a free bonus instant access to my tryout academy. This is an academy I put together to help you dominate tryouts and really get those tricks and tips that are going to help you impress the coaches and make the team. All right. Let's talk about shooting slumps. Now, the very first thing you can do is anytime you go into a shooting slump is really start to focus on your form. For a lot of players, they have a great jumper and it's looking good. And then all of a sudden, there's just like one little thing that starts to go off on their form. Maybe they stop loading the ball right. Maybe their feet, footwork isn't right. And so a lot of times if you start focusing on form, that's a great way to start. So I always like to come close to the hoop a lot of players, they get in a, like, let's say a three point shooting something, they just scoot away and try to shoot as many threes. I always try to get as close to the hoop as I possibly can. And I try to do that with my pro clients as well. So once you get close to the hoop, you can do all sorts of different form shooting, right? You can just do your normal two handed form shooting. You can do one foot balance form shooting to work on loading your hips, right? If you look at a lot of the other videos on our channel, we got a ton of great form shooting stuff and those are all things you want to implement. Now, the one thing that you want to look out for is I would stay away from one hand form shooting. Now here's why. A lot of coaches love one hand form shooting, but shooting is really a two handed thing. It's really hard to keep your normal mechanics and get that same ball load and hip load and fluidity and movement and all that sort of stuff if you're doing it with one hand. So what a lot of players do is they think, ah, I'm in a slump. I should probably do some form shooting. I'm just going to go here and they do that thing that they've seen at camps where they put their hand behind their back and they do this one hand stuff over and over again. But the problem is they're not working on the right form that they actually use in the game, right? So work on form, work on different angles, work on different variations of form shooting, but I would probably stay away from one hand form shooting. All right, so now that we've gotten close and we worked on our form, the next step is we want to rep it out. We want to get those reps and get those going in actual practice. Now, there's a couple things that you really want to pay attention here. Number one, you want to take the actual shots that you're getting in games. I see this all the time. Players will be like, man, I'm in a shooting slump. I got to go get shots up. And they might just stand there and only shoot catch and shoot jumpers from a few spots, right? Or maybe they do one dribble pull from a few spots. But in the actual games, maybe they're getting relocation shots. Maybe they're getting kickouts. Maybe they're getting one dribble pull-ups or lateral pull-ups going sideways, right? So what you want to do is when you rep it out, you want to pay attention to the actual shots that you get in real games, right? Maybe watch your game tape, maybe watch some of the film and see the shots that you're getting. And those are the ones you want to replicate when you rep it out. So let's say your team runs an offense against the zone where you get a lot of shots where you're sliding down the lane, getting a kick from this direction and shot up. Right? I don't want to just practice getting the ball tossed to me from out underneath the hoop. I want to practice receiving the ball that same direction, getting my targeting up and working on that same movement pattern. Right? Movement patterns are incredibly important when it comes to shooting. And that's one of the fastest ways to break a slump is actually replicate the movement patterns that you need to shoot. So key number one there, you've got to rep it out and do the right reps. The next key is you want to get a lot of them, right? It doesn't do you any good to come out and get, you know, maybe three or four reps of one and then move on to the next spot. You've got to rep out those same spots a bunch of time. I'd go 25, 30, 35 shots of the exact same thing and make sure you've got it, right? I've watched Chris Paul and Dirk Nowinski and a bunch of other pros work out and you would not believe how long they will work on one set of reps. I'm talking maybe an hour doing the same thing over and over and over again. And that's what you need to do if you're looking to break a slump. All right, so the next thing is you need to count on feel, 
not on makes. Now this is a big mistake that a lot of players do. They go out, they're in a slump, they go, okay, I gotta get a workout in, and they'll shoot and they'll go, I gotta make 10, and they'll shoot till they make 10. And a lot of them might feel bad, but 10 of them might go in, right? I always try to have my shooters trained to shoot on feel. Did it feel good leaving your hands? Did you feel like it was going in? And even if it didn't go in, you can still count it, right? There's a great old quote from Larry Bird where he talked about, you know, somebody asked him, hey, what's your shooting workout routine? And he always said, hey, I just shoot till it feels good, right? And that's a great way to go about it because your body kind of knows when your jumper is cooking. You know, we've all had those days where we're like, man, I'm hot, this is feeling great, everything I throw up is going in. And those are the days we want to replicate. So what I would do anytime I'm in a slump is I wouldn't count the makes, I would count the ones that feel good, right? So every time you let it go, you go, ah, feel good, there's one right? Ah, feel good. There's two. And then maybe set an amount of that for each drill that you're trying to accomplish. And if you don't make them all, that's okay because we're trying to get your groove back. All right. So the next one is maybe one of the most powerful ones of all. And a lot of you are going to think this is crazy. And you're going to turn it off and you're going to give it a thumbs down and all that sort of stuff. Maybe you get in the comments and start hating a little bit, but it's really powerful. I promise you. And that's the power of visualization, using your mind to be more confident, to make more shots. Now, a lot of people don't realize that confidence is one of the most important things when it comes to shooting. If I'm not a confident shooter, it doesn't really matter how many reps I've got in the gym. Those reps can go out the window extremely quickly, right? Think about yourself. Have you ever had a coach yell at you for missing a shot or get on you for not performing? You probably don't perform better. Most people perform worse, right? Because the more confident you are, the better you're gonna be. So with visualization, you're basically using your mind to trick yourself into the fact that A, you're not in a slump, be that you're a great shooter, right? So visualization, you can do a few different things. Maybe it's when you're laying in bed at night, you just close your eyes and you think about the game and you think about the shots you miss and you replay those in your head. But instead of replaying them as misses, you start replaying them as makes, right? And then get really vivid with it. Think about the reactions that the crowd have. Think about how hyped up your teammates would get, right? Then same sort of thing. Once I enter the gym, I'm tying my shoes, I'm getting ready for a workout. I'm visualizing in my head, all right, I'm gonna do this drill and I'm just gonna like visualize myself knocking down shot after shot after shot. Again, the more vivid you can get in your brain, the more it's actually going to translate and prep your mind to actually be ready to hit those shots. So visualization is one of the most underutilized pieces that you can do to number one, get out of shooting slope, and number two, just perform on the court at, uh, anyways. And so what we wanna do is start using that to get out of slumps, and I promise you, it will help you out. All right, don't forget, if you wanna get your own personalized shot analysis by artificial intelligence, all you gotta do is click the top link in the description down below, or the top link in the pinned comments down below that, and go ahead and join the M1 Smart Coach waiting list. Again, this is gonna be fantastic. I'm super excited, and to make it even better, you're gonna get free instant access to my Triad Academy that you're not gonna to wanna to miss. Also, if this video helped you out, do me a huge favor for the algorithm, pop that like button, and then head to the comment section down below, and let me know what sort of video you want to see next. This channel is run pretty much by the people for the people, so leave a comment down below and hopefully I'll be able to get to it. And if you're new to shot mechanics, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button, ding the bell notification so you actually get my videos and YouTube doesn't keep them from you, and then hopefully we will see you next time. Again, I'm Coach Colin Castell with Shot Mechanics Basketball. Thanks for watching, and until next time, splash on.